EAA Chapter 166, Hartford, Connecticut, home of Vans RV12 build. Wing leading edge LED lighting. Switch it on for taxi takeoff, climb cruise and landing. In fact, keep it on all the time. It'll probably last forever. It's got really low current draw and it's really bright. The system going in the RV12 here is made by Aero LEDs. It's the Aero Sun model, and it's a combination recognition landing light system, a pulse mode. And the light installation has been the focus of the RV12 build here at the RV12 construction hangar in Hartford for a number of weeks now. And like most systems, it isn't exactly an easy installation. To tell us all about the process, let's go find project lead Rick Montero. It's uh, probably been a little over a month since we uh, gave our last update. So in that time, uh, the team has been working on continuing work on the uh, wiring harness. And uh, since you know the the team build team is you know focused all around the the fuselage, sort of limited what else we could do around the fuselage. So what we've done is jumped ahead to section 40, which is installation of the landing light which goes into the right wing, the outboard part of the uh, right wing. And um, so what that involves is actually uh, you know, cutting a hole in the right wing so that you can install the landing light lens and the, the, the uh, light itself behind the lens. And uh, this particular aircraft, the RV-12, our model has the, uh, an Arrows LED light that gets installed within the, the wing. And uh, in front of that, it has a uh, plexiglass lens. Now we have it all taped up to keep it from getting scratched. But uh, what the work involved in uh, getting it ready for installation is that uh, Vans gives you a piece of plexiglass that is somewhat shaped, um, but it has a lot of excess stock. You can see what we've cut off from it. So it involved quite a bit of cutting and getting it down and shaping it to get it to the right size. And uh, in addition to uh, putting some countersink holes in it to mount it within the wing. Now to make the cut in the wing, they give you uh, vans in the instructions in section 40, they give you a template to go by and this is a uh, full size uh, template. And they give you these uh, essentially alignment holes that uh, match up to rivets that are in the wing. So you basically tape it over the wing, align the whole, these holes here with the, uh, the rivets in the wing, mark the hole that you want to uh, cut out in the wing, and then uh, you, know, you make the cut. So what we did, what we found worked well, was actually again using a Dremel uh, with a flex cable and a uh, thin cut abrasive wheel and uh, essentially you cut it a little bit undersize using this tool and then um, go in with another tool um, that we use is basically a sanding wheel and uh, you know enlarge the hole a little at a time until you get to the uh, essentially the size that uh, is required by the template so the sanding wheel does a good job of enlarging the hole and deburring it at the same time. Um, cutting the uh, lens, the plexiglass for the, the uh, lens, we use the same tool, the abrasive wheel, cut it a little bit oversized and uh, then use some uh, buffing wheels to get it to the right shape and uh, smooth out the edges. And then uh, to drill the holes that you need for mounting, so what uh, to mount the lens in the wing, you, they give you these uh, little strips that have nut plates on the back side to receive the screws that go through. Um, so you have to assemble these, but you basically, you know, I'll use it as a template to mark where the holes go. <clears throat> and then you drill the holes using uh, the appropriate drill bits, which are uh, meant for uh, acrylic or plexiglass. And then, um, and then it requires you to uh, countersink those holes after you get them to the right size. We found that using the standard countersinking tools worked well on plexiglass. So we used some of the excess to test it out and verify that it wouldn't crack the plexiglass as we were countersinking. So I think what we could do next is go over and look at the wing and uh, see how we uh, made the hole in the wing and uh, how this all goes together. 
Okay, so here's the uh, wing. This is the right wing on the aircraft, and uh, the light gets mounted on the, uh, you know, the outboard edge, uh, leading edge of the right wing, and uh, you can actually see the hole that we cut out using the template. Um, the template, as I mentioned before, has these. Uh, you align the template with some of the rivets that are in the wing, and that helps you get the. Uh, the location correct and once you have that correct then you you know mark it and cut it out and then it has you uh, drill the holes required for mounting the lens in so you can see the uh, the lens will essentially fit within there within the wing like so you line up the holes and uh, behind the lens you have these mounting plates that have the uh, nut plates in the back and uh, they essentially fit on the lens just like so so when it's mounted in the wing you have the the mounting plate behind it with the nut plates then you use a number six screw through the hole uh, to actually hold the, uh, the lens in place and then for the actual light itself uh, there's a pair of uh, ribs that you end up having to drill the holes for and they get mounted inside the wing uh, like so on the you know either side and those ribs then uh, hold the the actual landing light the arrow LEDs light that goes inside so as for wiring uh, this wing you know this airplane has removable wings so one of the uh, considerations, right, is how do you make the connections once you, you know, when you install the wing or remove the wing. So the design for this wing has a plug that gets mounted here and then all the wiring that runs out to the landing light and the position light. And uh, so when you actually mount the wing back on the aircraft, you get a, a connection between the, the wing plug and the plug that's on the fuselage uh, that goes back to the switches. Well, that's not the end of the lighting. or the electrical work for this RV-12. There's still the position light that needs to get mounted out on the wing. And, of course, the lighting for it, along with the landing light, get routed back into the cabin behind the panel to that options connector and then off to the panel-mounted rocker switches. And speaking of the electrical system, Another big milestone on the way as the Garmin G3X Touch Avionics are on the way. And we'll look at that big project in a future video. And if you like these RV12 build videos, show us some love and hit that thumbs up button down below. We'll see you next time.